own all of Twitter or Facebook or what have you. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates. No shit. All of its nominees. Or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and turn up the reach of something else. <laughs> and the rest of us might not even find out about it till after the election. Are you serious? Elon Musk says this is all to help people because he is just a free speech, philosophically clear, open-minded helper. Congratulations. You played yourself. Have you noticed that ever since Elon Musk took over Twitter, we've been told by our corrupt government agencies and their state media operatives that it's now a threat to democracy. Apparently, Twitter wasn't a threat to democracy when it was used by Joe Biden, the intelligence agencies, and our media to suppress bad news for Biden and sway the election in his favor. But of course it was. But now that it's in the hands of a private citizen who seems to care about free speech, the actual threats to democracy are finally being called out. Unlike before, Democrat media stories that could never have been challenged are finally being exposed on a regular basis and driving that nail further into the legacy media's coffin. I'm going to give you a few examples that are going to give you some serious schadenfreude. So stick around until after this quick message from this episode's sponsor, Noble Gold. There's no denying it. Gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Not so long ago, gold reached its all-time high of $2,069 an ounce. And right now, it's inching even closer to that number again. Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the world, is saying gold will rise further still to over 2,200 an ounce later this year. Right now, Noble Gold is offering a five ounce America the Beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover terms do apply. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call right now. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Or you can go to noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. And you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. This is Rula Jabria. She's a professor at Miami State University and a foreign policy analyst. And said of this video, quote, three Italian police brutally assaulted, pepper sprayed, and kicked an unarmed trans woman in Milan. Criminalizing and inciting violence against transgenderism has lethal consequences. The so-called gender ideology is used to justify government discrimination. Ah, yes, and this is how the left dismisses completely legitimate questions about gender ideology being pushed on children. But doesn't this sound familiar? Like the drumbeat of propaganda we hear coming from our media every day, that transgender people are being genocided. In fact, this video does not show an innocent trans person being beaten up by white supremacist transphobe bigots, but rather a pedophile who was exposing his penis to kids at a school and threatening to infect people with HIV. What the f***? Ah, uh, I see. Another one of the woke movement's austere patron saints. Just think, unless Elon Musk took over Twitter, those community notes would have never appeared, and the transgenocide conspiracy theory would have been confirmed in the minds of millions. There's been some other great examples of the powers that be spreading disinformation and getting caught when before that would have never happened. Chuck U. Schumer tweeted out, quote, the MAGA Supreme Court is continuing to erode our country's environmental laws. Make no mistake, this ruling will mean more polluted water and more destruction of wetlands. We'll keep fighting to protect our waters. So I guess anyone saying or doing anything the Democrats disagree with are now considered MAGA. Except all nine SCOTUS judges agreed that the EPA was overstepping its authority. But here again, this narrative that the ruling came down from conservative judges judges would have propagated if not for community notes, which we have thanks to Elon Musk, which is why he's enemy number one. Joe Biden and his spokespeople have been getting away over and over with the lie that he reduced our deficit in two years by $1.7 trillion. No. He may have gotten away with it in our CIA media, 
but not on Twitter, where Community Notes correctly pointed out that the 1.7 trillion reduction was caused by previously planned expiration of COVID spending. Biden's actions raised rather than lowered the deficit. That's gotta hurt. Biden's lie is so bad that even the Washington Post, who by the way, doesn't have a running counter of Biden lies like they did for Trump, that same publication called Biden's lies a bottomless pit of Pinocchios. Or how about this boss lady scientist, Laura Helmuth, who has worked for all the state media outlets and tried to claim there are more than three human sexes because some sparrows have unusual chromosomes. White-throated sparrows have four chromosomally distinct sexes that pair up in fascinating ways. P.S. Nature is amazing. P.P.S. Sex is not binary. Wrong. Despite there being four different chromosome configurations, there are still still two sexes of sparrows, male and female, just like humans. Ah! The point is, these changes at Twitter are good for people who value free speech and transparency. They're not so good for people who want to deceive and manipulate you. Keep this in mind when you see their desperate efforts to tear down Elon Musk and Twitter. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.